today's here. We are getting ready to head out. Hopefully kill some big bulls. Scouting went good for one of us and just okay for the other one. So I'm hoping it's uh, good for both. This morning everyone's getting ready to roll. Rained a little bit last night, so the ground's going to be a little wet. Should keep the dust down. Keep it a little quiet for sneaking in. Keep it quiet. We're going to go in and smack a couple big bulls. Um, I did not do it after an interview last night, so Travis, I apologize for that, but um, I got lots of good elk video, so you don't got to yell at me. So, are you ready to kill something? We are. Perfect. Well, let's go do it. Thank you. Good morning, we are at the cabin and it is opening day, it's rifle elk season. We're going to go see if Gary can pound one this morning. It's raining, getting the rain gear on and uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. We kind of put them to bed last night, they weren't talking much so hopefully they're still in there and we can get in there and maybe the beam bowl or one of the other big bowls will be in there. Gary will drop the hammer and drop the bowl. But I'm gonna stop jabbing. We're gonna go kill an elk. We're heading in. There's hunters on the other two sides, so we're just gonna have to go from here and hopefully uh, get in on a one bugle down the bottom. But all hell's about to break loose.
Well, we're at the spot we intended to hunt this morning. We're hearing bugles already. There was quite a big herd in here last night, so we're gonna try and weasel in between them and their bedding and hopefully smack a big one. I think our biggest problem if we do get into them is trying to decide which one is the shooter, so. How you feeling over there, Brandon? Oh, fantastic. You ready to kill something? Yeah, we're ready to rock. All right, let's do it.
just dies. He's probably like 270, I'm guessing. Pretty bald though, he's just... Decided we're gonna leave him alone. We found one, maybe two shooters that we saw last night. They were pretty much in range, but there was a big group of them, and they're working their way into the state ground, which we can't go on guided. So we kind of caught. They're causing a scene. There's two vehicles along the road watching them. So hopefully, no one's gung ho and gets after them, but. It's uh, next to impossible to get to them, so we're gonna come. Uh, we're gonna leave them alone. Come out here this evening and sit and wait and hope they do the same thing last night. If they do the same thing last night. We're gonna be killing a bull tonight. Yeah, very good. Let's do it. Well, our morning sit on the pond and water tank was kind of a bust. Uh, had two different bulls bugling, one to the north west of us and one to the southwest, but. Neither one of them wanted to come out into the open, so then our wind started switching and going right to them, which was complete opposite of what it was forecast to do today, so it's always nice. So we're heading back to the pickup, gonna go check a different area, kind of glass down through some draws. about a week ago. There was quite a few elk on it. Mm -hmm. 
haven't heard anything in here the last couple days, but that doesn't mean they're not. So, we can go see. Had a couple decent, decent bulls on camera. Just got back to the truck. Nobody's here. So, I'm hoping they got after something. I don't know. Seems like it would be a good sign. Anyhow, guess we'll find out. Took a little break, middle of the day, so we weren't pushing elk around. We're going to head back out. It's 2.30, hoping that's going to come out a little early due to the overcast. And then as soon as we got here, the overcast disappeared, so... Well, we're gonna still go sit and wait for them to come out tonight. Everybody's going tonight. We got both hunters. There's plenty of elk, so we're hoping to maybe get a double tonight. That would be a pretty good night. Hike out there, sit and wait. Better than sitting in camp. Heading into the kill zone. The elk are in trouble. We got a whole herd. Only two rifles, but it's gonna go down tonight. Everybody agree? I think it'd be a fantastic idea. Not a bad one, that's for sure. So they're going down to the right where that five point will stand up. Well, we didn't even quite get settled in and Brandon spotted a bull. It's 317. I think now we've seen four or five bulls, a couple good ones. And uh, we're just kind of glad we got out here earlier than we intended to. They're bugling. We're just not quite sure where they're going just yet. So we're just going to kind of wait them out and see what happens. They might pop over the top out into the open or might have to hoof it to go cut them off to be determined we are heading back out Gary's gonna put a big boy down today we're got a feeling it. we're gonna do it he would have this morning if I wouldn't have talked him out of it probably but <laughs> no he didn't talk me out of anything <laughs> all right good good but it was meant to be because now we're gonna go find the big boy that's right as long as he doesn't get scared away by Papa Smack Straps back there. <laughs> I'm pretty scary. <laughs> we might switch it up a little bit tonight, try something new, and see what happens. Hopefully they'll be talking. We're gonna get up on this high point. We set a bunch last year, and we're gonna get up and kind of glass across the valley where we can see and get above these aspens, and hopefully something will go down keep you posted. Well, we just got to the spot and uh, there was some hunters walking right below us, but I think we're going to sit it out. Looked like they were just kind of slow on one trail. They kind of worked off, so hopefully with a little luck. Big boy will walk out right down there. Anybody 
is hot by any means, but it's just not my jam. We got like an hour till dark, so I figured I'd hike back down to the truck and maybe just go try to locate something it's freaking quiet tonight, so. A lot of pressure this year with increased tag numbers, naturally. Might have to go find some new elk. stay here. He's probably about 250. 250 probably. One on the left of the herd. Yep. He's clear. See him? Sniffing the cows. Got him. Let him clear, hit him again. 
Got him again. Pull down, baby. Kind of wandering off, but it's gonna open up down there. If you guys want to get out there? Hey, that one's the one with the long fifths. I'm pretty sure. I yeah, they were. I think it was. They're like six, seven inches at least. But I don't think I didn't see him down here. He must have been below the hill. Mm -hmm. but that's that. That's the ivory tip one. I'm pretty sure. Or it looks just like him. Yep. That's a pretty good bull. Got the wide thirds. So we want to go this way. What's that? That way. Well, you guys can certainly go after those if you want. I mean, they've seen some pressure now. But They're probably gonna go up that canyon, aren't they? They might. That be it opens up on it. What do you think? We can try. That was Let's really well. Let's get a little bit of her out. Let's see, they might just be milling around down there. Well, he's not shrinking on you, is Alright, Brandon just shot a nice 6x6 six six bull and me and Rick are headed after the herd. We got about 45 minutes left till dark. I figured he better give her a try. Bought one pretty nice bull by himself. So we're gonna try to hurry and get in on him. We've still got time. Can't ask for a more perfect scene right now. Sunset. Walking up on your bull. Well, the hunt turned from pretty mellow, wait for the bull, bulls to come down to us, hunt to a rush, 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 to try to keep up with them hunt. And we had to make a pretty quick decision. Probably not the biggest one out here, but it sure is pretty. Hope you're happy. Yep. It was a good hunt. A lot of adrenaline towards the end. We had to make a pretty quick choice. So. Now the fun begins. We're going to cut them up. We're not very far from the road. So, congrats. Yeah, thank you. Good hunt. Yep. Got anything smart to say to the camera? Or you been, been <laughs> not, saying them all. I probably better not. <laughs> I don't want to give away all my good ideas. Go ahead. 
That's awesome. <laughs> good cut, man. So awesome. That second shot, I thought I heard the thump. Yep. But I didn't know if, because it was last second. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you, man. Congrats. He's a beauty. Oh, yeah. Holy cow. Oh, yeah. Attaboy. That's going to be a pack, man, ain't yeah, it? We got two bulls down. Holy cow. We might uh, have a double pack out night because we just heard shots over the hill. There was another good bull with him. Oh, there's another shot. We're going to go see if we can see him. The second shot was definitely a hit. Why do they got to shoot it further back in there? Well, um, they were further away than we thought. We didn't want to go over the next hill, so we just decided we wanted a little exercise right before we start cutting this bull up. So. And I wasn't sweaty enough yet. Yeah, he wasn't tired enough, wasn't sweaty enough. I couldn't smell him yet. <laughs> now he's starting to but stink. Now, I'm now he's starting to stink, so now we <laughs> got skin in the game. So we're going to start cutting our bull up. They got to come back at the packs. He shot a couple more times. I know one of them was solid, but generally if you can get five or six shots in that's that's just to put him down shot so he doesn't crawl away on you so uh i guess we're going to bed it tomorrow <laughs> see you then yeah I'm, i completely missed them on my first shot i i tried way too hard and that second shot i'm like son of a gun I heard the second shot hit. What'd you shoot? Iverson. You no, no. Ivory bull? Mm -hmm. you no, found no, no, no. Iverson. Iverson. You found one of the 6 by 7s over there? How big is he? He's 340? He's definitely above his 320 mark that he wanted. How'd you find him? Was there a whole other herd over there? He's by himself. All right, we haven't even got to put hands on Rick's bull yet. Went up there, he's still alive, and so we just let him expire and headed back. Helped the guys get out Brandon's bull, so just got done doing that, and now got the whole crew with to go recover Rick's bull. So Rick hasn't even got to put his hands on him yet. It's been like two hours, so it's getting antsy. <laughs> That's a ball there, hold. God damn. It's on a busted time. That's my drop time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we did God. break just a whisker off the top. Yep. Well, that, it's right in your hand. Hey, here. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. What do you think? That is a hell of a bowl. Yeah, that's freaking sweet. That gonna work? It's gonna be tough to top that for your first elk. Yeah, you ain't kidding. Now you gotta carry him out while we watch. Jesus, my God. Congrats, man. Oh yeah. Did he have it? Oh, it's just a tree. Yeah, that's what I was checking there. out. Just breaking just a little bit. We got elk bugling. We're having a photo session. Elk bugling right over the hill. 
And now we gotta cut them up. We got a 500 yard pack up a couple hills and won't be terrible. Rick just had to say he wants to pack a bull out. Didn't yep, you, Rick? He got what he wanted. This is your fault. Everybody Thank have you. a good night. Everybody had fun. Mm -hmm. yep, yep. Good hunt. Just didn't pack any sandwiches all the way in here. Oh, that's going to be I, a one. I ate all the fruit snacks. <laughs> that's yeah, a one. That's a, snacks. We're going to get a one bites. star out of that deal. <laughs> all right, let's get to work. Well, it is uh, 12 17. We got one bull out. We got one more to go. Got the big boy. Big bull's out. The other one's already cut up, ready to go. We just need to get it, get it to the pickup. So onward and upward, and then it's still party time after this. A little bit. If I don't die when I get back. All right, let's get to it. Pack out bull bulls for <laughs> night. Varsity coming in strong here, boys. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Thank you, man. Congrats. He's a beauty. Didn't get to bed till about 4 a.m. So, slept in a little bit and now we're getting to work. Got all the bags all cleaned up. What are we doing? Much, um, earned sleep in. It was. Now we're keeping got one done on the next one, get him in the freezers, get everyone's meat taken care of, and this is a big boy. It is. Yes it is. He was a fighter or he was a wuss, one of the two. He got he had all sorts of little pus pockets on him from got his butt whooped a time or two by somebody. I think he was just old downhill. Younger younger studs were whooping his butt. Mm-hmm. Let's see what's uh, going on the other side of camp. Here we got one all caped out. Brandon's bowl. Pack's drying over there. Rick's hacking away over here. 